also imperfect revolutions. No, and I agree with Bill. No, Whenever the U.S. Worse. goes in and tries to impose our vision of democracy in that region, we fail. We no, t- no, no, took no. Mossadegh that, out in, in Iran, and we ended up with the, sh- the Shah, and then we ended up with But the that's ISIS. not our fault. It's not our fault what came out. We didn't go into Egypt. Well, we we did, wound up with we, the we, Muslim we, Brotherhood. We didn't go into Egypt. We were supporting and propping up Mubarak for 30 years, even as we were cheering for all the Tahir Square demonstrators as though we were on their side. It was our government that kept Mubarak in power, just like we've done across the entire Muslim world. I'm just, and, it, and, no, but, and, and it's amazing for you to say that, well, look at all these Muslims. The minute you give them a little bit of freedom, they go wild and they start being all violent. How can you be a citizen of the United States, the country that has generated more violence and militarism in the world over the last five or six decades and say, look at those people over there, they are incredibly violent. We play a significant role in what has been happening in the Middle East because we've well, been interfering and dominating that region in order to have access to the oil. I wasn't talking about Israel. violence, so, I was talking about theocracy. That doesn't happen here. No, well, and, okay, that doesn't happen here, but at the same time, Iran isn't invading lots of other countries and occupying them for a decade, nor are fundamentalist Muslim countries the way the United States is. So these things are interlinked because we are continuously interfering in that part of the world. And so to say... Really, it's all our fault? It's not all our fault, but when you send your military for six straight decades into other countries to bomb them, kill their children and women and innocent men, pop up dictators, yeah, you take responsibility for your actions and say, to the extent that that region That religion goes back a thousand years before our revolution, so I don't think we can take all the blame. I don't think we should. I think we should take a lot of it. And there's lots of bodies and corpses that have been piled up in the name of Christianity and Judaism as well. Not recently. Have That's you heard of the occupation of the West Bank and, and Gaza for the last 50 years, motivated in part by extremist views of Judaism or the wars in Europe or the fact that there were generals in the United States saying we have to go and invade and destroy Iraq, a country of 26 million people, because our God is bigger? Lots of religions, not just Islam, produce violence. Well, well, if I could just well, make that, one quick point about that's Egypt. That silly I mean... liberal view <laughs> that all religions are alike because it makes you feel good. No, it makes you feel good true. to say our side is better than no, people over there. No, it makes you feel good to put violent. a crown on your head and say, I'm a good person. How do no, I prove you get that? To, you get to ignore the responsibility that your own government has for the violence and instability in the world by saying, look, it's that primitive religion over there that's to blame. All right, it's time for our